Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can add FAQs to your listing in Google, which will make your listing about three times the size of anybody else on there. Um, it's really good for click-through rates, uh, stuff like that. I've made a previous video about this, but what I wanted to show today is how you can do it outside um, of WordPress, or not necessarily inside Gutenberg. So, you can still get that code to work, but it doesn't have to go through the, the same process as what I showed in the previous video. Um, I've actually had built a uh, FAQ generator here. I built some of it and I paid someone to help me finish the code off. Um, where you can literally just paste in your questions and your answers uh, and then get the code output right here. And then you can just copy and paste that onto your website. So whether it's Joomla, Magento, whatever the CMS is, as long as you can paste HTML into it, this will work. Uh, as long as it doesn't strip out HTML or, or something irritating like that. Um, this will work. I've used this on Magento and Joomla and WordPress as well. Um, because also if you've got custom fields or anything like that that you wanted to paste this into, it will work. Um, or also if you wanted to paste it directly into the theme. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show how this tool works. It's really, really simple. Uh, but I also wanted to show you how to implement it um, and turn it into a, an accordion like last time, like in the previous video. Um, just because I think showing this stuff pro will probably help quite a few people uh, to actually get it designed quite nice as well on this site. It won't output bad as it is because I used, um, you know, heading tags and paragraph tags. So it should just fit right in. But with some of this stuff, I think we want to make it a bit smaller. You know, we don't want to have it so that everyone's got this huge page that they've got to scroll by, <clears throat> especially if some of this stuff isn't really that important. It's, you know, it's a judgment call based on your use for it. So the first thing I'll just show you right now is how to use this free tool. Uh, I've created some FAQs already. I've wrote them out um, for this page. I'm actually going to paste into here um, as we go through the video. So I've just wrote these out in this Google Doc right here. So if I just copy out the questions... And I paste them in. You don't need to watch this whole thing. I think you get the the idea. Um, you know, paste in, copy your question, paste it into the question field, copy your answer, paste it into there, or you could just write directly into here. Uh, when you want to add another one, you can click on this add question right there, and then we can go ahead and click and add the next one in. Copy paste. like that and then when we've got them all in there um, we just hit update code and then we'll see all the code right here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more in now and I'll come back in a second okay I've just gone through and I've added each of these in here now um, because I clicked update code already the two that are in there are there this doesn't do it live every time you make a change on the left you have to click update code uh, and then that will update that there now so we'll have all of those in um, uh, anyway, it allows HTML and then that part, and there you go. So that's worked. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and click copy HTML right there, and that will copy it to your clipboard. Um, the next step after we've got this code right here is just pasting this into your website. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this into uh, this post that I've built. Uh, I can actually show you like this how you could use this if you wanted to uh, inside Gutenberg. Obviously, there's no need to because you could use Yoast, but um, I'm going to for the example you know, of this video. Um, so if I come down here, I'm going to replace this because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace this image. Um, ah, actually, I need to change this because I've done this before. All right, so let's change this to blocks. So I'll delete that, and then come into here and then I need to do custom HTML and then I just go ahead and paste that in uh, and then I'm going to show if I update this now I'll just show you how this looks so here's how it will look before we do any work to make it look different um, you can see here because it's just headings and text it looks okay it looks absolutely fine um, but the whole point of this is that we're actually going to change this into an accordion. So the first step is uh, come down to where it says add this CSS to your style sheet. And then literally highlight all of this code. And then copy it. 
and then what you need to do is you need to add that into your style sheet um, you could add it into the page if you wanted to but it's not best practice um, so I'm going to go into my style sheet for this theme uh, right here and open that up and now that this is open I'm going to um, as with the previous video I'm going to paste this in at the top because it's least likely to break anything if it's at the top so I'm going to paste that right there, hit save, say yes. Now when I come back into this post, as long as it's not cached, and it can cache by the way, um, it will change to this design which is what we were trying to do. So the CSS has worked um, and that's part of it, that's the styling, that's the first part, but if you click it it won't do anything because the JavaScript is what makes it happen if you see what I mean. Um, so if when you paste that code into your style sheet it don't work you might have to clear your cache or um, you know keep refreshing or something like that um, that was probably if it doesn't work that's probably the, the main reason or you're in the wrong file um, you know the way that I navigated to there in my FTP was I went to you know WP content themes found the, my active theme and then style sheet um, with this sort of stuff um, I'm sort of assuming that you guys probably already know some of this, so I won't go too into depth uh, with it. Um, the next part is to just go ahead and add this jQuery to um, either your header or a JavaScript file. I personally create JavaScript files whenever I do this stuff, um, as I find it easier to do it that way. So I have a JavaScript folder in my theme, uh, template.js. But you can, you can actually just paste this into your header if you wanted to. Um, Make sure that your inside document ready when you're pasting this in, um, and then you can just paste that in like that. Um, it won't work if it's not inside a document ready. It needs to be inside there um, like that. So if you, so I've pasted that in there now and saved. And now if I open file, when I come back to my page again, as long as it's not cached, when we scroll up to here and I refresh, if the JavaScript's working we now have the ability to open and close and as you can see the plus changes to a minus to so say you can close it um, it's fully responsive and all the rest of it because uh, the way that I built it means that it doesn't need to have breakpoints or anything um, but I can just show you in this here um, you know it breaks down onto two lines and it just makes that bit a bit bigger and yeah it'll work on all, all modern browsers and, and all modern phones and stuff like that uh, and that's literally all you got to do that is literally it so hopefully you found this video helpful um, you know, if there's anything, if you've got any questions or anything like that, drop them down below. I think I've covered everything, but uh, I'm sure there'll be something I missed. And yeah, paste on your website will get your listing to be bigger ma the majority of the time. Bear in mind, it's at Google's discretion based on usually the keyword. Uh, it doesn't always do it, but it usually does. I've got this happening on some pretty major keywords, uh, and it's massively increased. Uh, the click-through rate for some of these that's been incredibly profitable for my clients. So definitely, definitely advise you putting the effort in doing this. And I've done all the effort for you. you just copy and paste it all from here. So yeah, a uh, link to this page is going to be in the description. Uh, if this has helped you, then make sure you like the video and subscribe and comment. Just drop it down below if you want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next video.